Alrighty guys, for today's video, we have a brand new montage from the best Sakali in the world. 1000 LP Chinese super server. This montage will blow your mind, so let's get into it. Do you ever just look at the price of skins and feel they're too pricey? I mean, $20? What the f***? But now you can get anything you want from the store without spending a penny because I use this video sponsor, Zeely, a skill-based tournament platform with cash prizes. It doesn't matter if you're bronze or challenger, Zeely automatically sets you up to compete against others around your skill level so that you have a fair chance of winning a grand prize. After joining a tournament, play a few games, get some kills, maybe even win, and climb to the top of the leaderboard. Once you get enough credits from free entry tournaments, join a cash prize tournament and buy your skins. If you sign up with my link in the description, you'll get 500 credits that go towards your first cash tournament. So guys, join now, buy your items, and thank me later. So guys, this is Han Akali. He is over 1,000 LP in the Chinese super server regularly. And what you're gonna learn from this, you are going to learn so many new mechanics and combos that you didn't know existed. First thing you can learn is you can flash cancel the ult. Second thing is you don't use your ult immediately versus Samira. It's like every single play this guy makes has something that most people just don't know. And you can see him running absolute laps around Shivana right there. This guy is an absolute god at this game. He made, she destroys the best players in the world regularly. He goes against the likes of Beifeng. And to be completely honest, he is so much better at Akali than Beifeng. Um, I think Beifeng is good at Akali, but compared to this guy, not so much. Flashes the end of the R2 to redirect the ultimate. I mean, this is just going to be... Uh... <laughs> yeah, okay, so in case you didn't see everything that happened there, let's just go ahead and take a quick instant replay. He starts winding up the passive proc and then flashes out, knowing that he doesn't have to stick around for the whole swing. You just have to get the first little bit off for the damage to register. It doesn't matter if they flash away or you flash away. Then he doesn't use the E2. He ults, giving the Viego a chance to flash. And this Kindred escape was so clutch. And yeah, he gets away. Uh, next up, we have a clip. He is super fed in this one, but just seeing how he decides to play things, he gets the double Q ult off and knowing that because they're next to each other, wow, and he hits out. But because they're next to each other, he Qs both of them and he gets the R1, which does a good amount of damage. And then here, check that out. Ults through the Alistar W. So Alistar can't get off that. And this one, absolutely mind blowing because just the precision on that, if he aimed the ult a little bit differently, when he ults out, it would have gone straight into the wall. I guarantee 99% of Akali's would have messed that up and just blown right into the wall. But you can see... Oh my god. Precision. The ball is to just flash in like that and do such a crazy combo. And test the Fiora. One shots the Fiora while her parry is up. And not immediately blowing it. Playing against Fiora is like rock, paper, scissors, though, to be honest. And uh, clean combo right there. As you can see, give it a second. Nice. Zonia's the Ari. And, I mean, you already know. Yeah, yeah. I think Ari accepted her fate after getting owned like that. But just keep a look at all of the precision. There's no way... That is actually, that's not luck, that's all skill, but Jesus. Completely dodges out the W, playing that shroud perfectly. And check that out right there. That's another thing that people just don't know. You can see how she flash Q autoed, knowing that if Akali starts the passive proc, even if they flash away, it still goes off. So you have to instantly flash to get that spell damage off because you can't, you know, that's not gonna extend in range. Hits three people with the ultimate, the R1. I think that's something that I've learned just watching this guy is hitting more people with your R1. And like, that's gonna do way more damage in the team fight, obviously, but it's not something I ever think about. I'm, oh my God. Flash is over knowing he can E back in when it's time to get him through the pool. But yeah, just getting all that bonus damage in to help your team get the fight instead of just trying to get the kill. 
for yourself. Get that singular target. And I mean, oh my. All right, perfect. Just a casual one HP, double kill. Oh my God. And that right there, I think that's like a Bay Thing special. Like the spacing on this to not press, so press S, check this out. He presses S because he wants Cassidy to actually run away a little bit so that he doesn't have to run backwards a lot and then he can just flash in. That was, it's just so insane. This guy is so much better than me. He's so much better than anyone else. I don't care if they're a pro player like Zika or a god like uh, Beifeng. This guy triumphs all of them. And I mean, obviously just a legend. You can see his farm is good too. I think that's another thing. Yeah, he's got interesting builds all the time. I see him build Night Harvester a lot, which I think goes with the whole hitting a bunch of people with your ultimate mentality. I feel like he's a less greedy player, but I mean, with the mechanics he has, he doesn't have to be greedy, I guess. And considering his teammates are literally the best players in the world. Oh my God, he ults instead of ink. He knows that if he flies forward, Vlad has to use the pool, but he doesn't want to use the E because the R1 does less damage than the E2. It's just, it's just, these little things are crazy. Yep, not giving Vlad a chance. Gonna queue up the Q and then zone use it. Same, yep, same thing. Gonna flash Q and then start the swing on the passive proc. And that is money right there. Man, this just, I want a 1v1. This guy's so bad. He's, I just want to get clapped so hard so I can learn. And honestly, I'm not going to lie. Okay, that one might have been Yasuo just going a little too crazy as they always do. Let's see what happens here. Yep, just a very clean combo. I love it. I love the creativity to use the R2 and then follow with the E. Because if Talon does fly over the wall, the E2 can follow, but the R2 can't. You know, for, especially for big walls like that. Oh, it misses a Q. But Akali's about to be level six. You already know it's about to happen. Kill the one, get the level six. Oh my God. Oh my God. Nice, lucky. Electrocute came back at that t moment. Now going for a first strike build. Ouch. Yeah, the uh, the Grom gets stolen, so I don't... Uh, okay. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah, one of those Akali specials right there. And uh, <laughs> just one shot. Oh, my God. Gets the Diana to ult, too. That was amazing. The Samira was probably just busy typing, like, what the heck are you guys doing? All right, let's see what happens. Instant kill on the Silas. Connects the E on the minion, then finishes off with the R2 on Graves. All right. You know, I will say the spectate tool kind of, it doesn't help you understand the mechanics as much as like watching someone does in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think. Guys, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and let me know what you think of this guy in the comments. Have a great holiday season. Peace out.